Good morning. My name is Lindsay Barth, and I am the Event Coordinator and Health Communications Associate at the North Carolina Council of Churches. Thank you so much for joining us for day 11 of our prayer series. I'm so thankful to be here with you. As we adapt to this new normal and learn to create new rhythms, I'm feeling more thankful than ever for the love that I'm feeling from everyone in my community, my friends, and my family. Although it feels that we're doing nothing, social distancing is an act of love. Social distancing is an act of love for everyone in our communities, especially healthcare workers, grocery store workers, and everyone on the front lines working to keep us safe and healthy. So again, I say social distancing is an act of love. It is an act of fearlessness, and it is an act of hope. I'd like to share with you now a poem by someone named Lynn Unger called Imagine. This poem has really helped ground me in my space and stay focused in my work. Imagine with me for a moment. Don't worry, I'm not saying it's real. Imagine, if you can, that there has been not a calamity, but a great awakening. Pretend, just for a moment, that we all so loved our threatened Earth, that we stopped going on cruises, limited international flights, worked on cherishing the places where we already are. In this pretty fantasy, everyone who possibly can stops commuting, spends the extra time with their kids or pets or gardens. We have the revelation that everyone needs health care, sick leave, steady work. It occurs to us that healthcare workers are heroes, also teachers, not to mention the artists of all kinds who teach us resilience and joy. Imagine, if you will, that we turned to our neighbors in mutual aid, trading eggs for milk, checking in on those who are elderly or alone. Imagine that each of us felt suddenly called to wonder, in this moment, what does the world need from me? What are my gifts? Yes, I know it's just a fantasy. The world can never change so radically overnight, but imagine. This poem really struck me and really shook me to my core because it represents radical love something that our society is craving right now. Radical love is something that we practice through providing unconditional love and support to everyone in our communities and recognizing that those who care for us need care too. At the council, we're working to practice radical love in our spaces. I challenge you to practice radical love in some way in your space. I'll mention some ideas here and also link them in the comments. You can set up food delivery for those in your community who need it. Simply call people to check in. Set up video conferencing to talk about fun things besides the virus. Sign up for our email newsletters to stay connected with virtual faith communities. Look at the five actions that you can take right now from Moms Rising to help protect our public health. And most importantly, rest. Taking care of yourself is the most radical form of love that you can offer. 
as my coworker Susanna Tuttle reminded all of us, just being on this earth is enough. I'd like to end by sharing a meditation from Robin Roberts called The Prayer for Protection, or two L's and two P's that my mom recently shared with me. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God is. I'd like to take a moment to dedicate this video to everyone who is on the front lines, helping keep us safe and healthy during this time of uncertainty. To everyone, I hope you know how loved you are. Thank you.